Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this BV mini bike pump. So if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I was looking for something to be able to air up my tires on the go. Like if I'm have a flat tire while I'm riding. So I have a older pump similar to this, but it doesn't fit on my current frame. The mount doesn't. So I found this one. This is probably one of the cheapest ones I could find on Amazon. And a lot of people were suggesting I get a CO2 cartridge, but those are a one shot use. And if you screw it up, you know, you're no good. The downside of these is it can take forever to air up your tire and it can be hard to get it up to pressure. The thing is my other pump I've used once, I rarely will ever need this. So it will be a pain when I have to go use it, but it's fine with me, but I can just throw it on there and never have to worry about it. Now the bike trails I ride on have a lot of repair stations and that's becoming more and more common these days. So if I get a flat, I can air it up with this and then ride to the nearest station and then top it off. So I may not get it up to full pressure with this, but I can do that at those repair stations. So this comes with this clip on mount here and this mounts under the water bottle cages and then the handle kind of pops open like so. And you can see there's a groove here and there's a little piece of plastic here and that indexes on that. So this does not come out. So, you know, I can fold this here and it's not latched on there. So you want to have it open, push the pump in all the way and close it. It locks on there. So that's a nice design. Of course, this thing's all plastic. So I'll open that up. So this will lock into a 90 degree orientation. Okay. We have a little cover here. Now this supports Schrader and Presta and it has a lock here. So when you put it on Schrader, you'll press down and you'll pull this up. So this can make for some weird orientations when you're trying to hook it on there. So it does have this plug here to keep dirt and dust out. So that's nice. This comes with a couple other things. It comes with an inflator, so you can inflate your beach ball with it or a basketball. Here's a needle inflator. It does come with some water mount bolts. So if your bolts aren't long enough to go through here, it comes with its own. And it also comes with this Velcro strap. So this is kind of nice. When you have this on your bike, you can clip it on here. But if you're on say a mountain bike or something going off jumps or on rough roads, this could potentially pop off. Although I can't see that popping off. That's on there really good. But to give you a little peace of mind, there's a piece of Velcro here. And you can put that on like that. And that gives you an extra layer of security. And that could come in handy in an emergency for some other purpose. So this is supposed to fit Schrader and Presta valves. So I do have a Schrader valve here. I'm pretty sure it's going to fit this, but I'll just double check. So I'm going to press this on here. And I'll lift that up so that fits fine. Here's a Presta valve. Now it says it automatically fits. So we have it unlocked here. And you're supposed to just place this in here like so. Yeah, okay. So you need to press it in there pretty good. Okay. It's kind of stuck in there. If it gets stuck, you can probably unscrew this a little bit. That'll help loosen it up. There we go. So I don't know if this is the best option for Presta, but it did seem to work, but you do have to shove it in there pretty good. So I'm going to head over to my shop. We'll mount this on my bike and then I'll test it out. Okay, so I'm at my bicycle here. This is a giant Escape 2. So I'll take off my bottle cage bolts. So I'm going to place this on here. Now this is a wide tube and I'm not real sure this is going to fit. Okay, that is seeming to fit. This does need to be at an angle, which is probably fine. So I'll continue. Okay, so this doesn't seem to fit super well with a water bottle cage on your bike. Looks like I can put it on there and I will be able to slip my water bottle in there. I'll get a picture here from the other side and I'll throw that up on the screen. Make sure these are tight. So yeah, that's not perfect, but I think it'll work. It's a little hard to get on and off there. This cage is pretty flexible, so I can pull it past here. But like I said, I don't plan on using this very often, only in the rare emergencies, hopefully. So I'll try putting some air in my tire with this. Okay, so here we have a Schrader valve. Went to press it on here. Now I have air in my tire right now. Otherwise you'd have to press your thumb in here to support the valve a little bit. Okay, that popped off. Oh, I did not have this tight. I loosened that up.
Okay, that did work. So if you're looking for a low cost frame pump, I think this is an option you might be interested in. It is all plastic, so it is relatively lightweight. It doesn't fit on the bike as well as I would like, but it does fit. But I don't know how well that's going to work on Presto valves. This is working on my Schrader valve. But that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.